Hello guys, uh, my name is Blue Digit, and today we are going to be looking at the new Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach teaser trailer, whatever. Now, um, you know, I didn't really want to jump on board when it came to this, like, right away. I didn't want to be that kind of guy that's fucking, oh, oh my god, Five Nights at Freddy's, I, I want to be, you know what I mean, I just, I, I want to talk about it the way that I feel like I would enjoy it, because I, I do love Five Nights at Freddy's, I do. Um, I fucking hate the fan base. I hate the fan base. I'll be honest, bro. Like, I think it's fucking cringe when it's like, uh, Freddy x, uh, Bonnie x, uh, threesome with, uh, Foxy. And it's like, fuck that shit, bro. Fuck that shit. But, but, um, overall, you know, as a horror game, Scott Cawthorn really did make something amazing. And actually seeing him kind of go back to his roots when it comes to, uh, I would say a horror game, it, it kind of very is interesting, especially with the name, um, Five Nights at Freddy Security Breach. Uh, kind of sounds like something else. So let's watch the um the teaser. I'll give you my thoughts, and then hopefully um we can kind of start talking a little bit more about maybe what might be in store. So uh, let's go. Gregory, your friends are worried about you. Oh fuck! They're here with me. Please come out, Gregory. I may have lost my temper earlier, but it was just a glitch. It won't happen oh, again. Fuck. It's been such a difficult day for all of us. Why don't you come out and we can play a game together? It won't happen again. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us. Here's one thing I also want to make sure people notice. Um, a lot of people are like, Oh, it's only going to be on PS5! Um, look down. If you look down there, it says also available on PC. So, um, just want to make sure everyone sees that. So if you're a PC player, don't be fooled. Don't be afraid. You will be able to play this. So you're, you're fine. You're fine. Um, but yeah, so I, I'm hyped. I'm fucking hyped. Um, so, what does this mean? First off, um, the big thing I really want to get out of, the, out of the way is it says Security Breach. There's another game that is like that, and it is SCP Containment Breach. So, um, that's obviously the first thing that comes to mind, and I find it very funny because that's the type of videos I've been making lately. So, like, I'm fucking excited, man. I'm excited. Um, but, moving on... Then another, uh, another thing I'm going to be talking about, because, you know, I don't know all the lore of Finance Freddy's. I kind of uh, stopped around Sister Location, and I, I didn't even play that game fully. Um, I played the first one, the second one, the third one. Uh, I think I played uh, Ultimate Custom, a little bit of Sister Location, and then that's it. So, I kind of jumped off the bandwagon a while back, just because, at least for me, it didn't feel like a horror experience anymore. It kind of felt like... Oh, here's, uh, you know, this, uh, character, and this is why they're gonna be important to the realm, and this is why they have a relationship with Foxy, and this is why, and it just, it didn't hit me right. It, it didn't feel right to me. It didn't feel like a good horror experience. Um, it's like, okay, um, at least to me personally, let, let's say you look up Outlast, right? If you look up Outlast, you're not gonna be usually finding many, like, fandom things, because it's kinda hard to. The character is almost known as just almost the embodiment of fear and because the community accepts that and treats it like such you know even if there is a few things it doesn't completely go overboard um and that's not what it's completely known for uh that's why let's say my hero academia an anime you guys probably don't know that but that's fine um it's also kind of take having the same problem i would say um because you're you gotta kind of know what uh you're embodying when you make a game um now, that being said, with the environments of what I'm seeing so far, I'm guessing this is going to be a free roam game. 
and this would be the first time ever Five Nights at Freddy's in its own franchise would be a free roam game, which is freaking awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. I do have a few problems with it, though. First off, the art style is a bit different. Um, I don't think it really looks that scary. Um, I looked at the back of, uh, at least when it came to lore-wise, when it came to Help Wanted, because I was very curious as to why um, there are different characters and uh, who some of these people are. Um, apparently there's a female security guard and there's this boy named Gregory, right? Um, you're either going to be playing as Gregory or the female security guard. I do not believe that we will be playing as the female security guard. It's just a hunch. It's just a hunch. But I feel like it's going to be interconnected. We're going to be playing as both of these people, but mainly it's going to be focused on Gregory because obviously in this, you know, it's like, Gregory, I don't think we're safe. Um, as you can tell, too, though, the animatronics seem like are, they're going to be on our side a little bit this time, um, which, again, hasn't really been focused on too much in the game. Um, that have never really been done. So it might really ease the atmosphere, might make it better. Um, it's kind of like iffy. I remember in Goosebumps, uh, Night of the Living Dummy, when there was a, a good guy. It, it, it almost worked with it, just because, you know, it, it still felt eerie. So, I th I think this is going to work. I think it's going to be fine. But, um, I mean, it depends. Um, but for, for things that we do, for sure, no. Um, so, we're going to have this warehouse area. We're going to have this kitchen. And then, clearly, there's going to be this monster above the kitchen. If we look here, in the top left corner. I'm not sure if you see that. My webcam mob probably is covering it. Son of a bitch. Um... There's this moon dude. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. There's a moon dude right in the top left corner right here. Damn it, I'm not sure if you guys can see it. If, you, if, you're, if you're watching this video, you've probably already seen it anyways, the original trailer. Um, I mean, it has 4 million views on it right now, and it's still going up. So, um, there's this moon dude. And it's definitely giving me bad vibes. Probably gonna be my favorite character in the entire fucking horror game so far. I, I, I enjoy just very menacing characteristics of a monster not just i'm creepy i'm coming you know what i mean like I, I enjoy reveling in their mindset that's why let's say um an outlast dr traeger is my favorite character because he's fucking scary he's i, I just think I, I i can't know if he's insane or evil and that's that's great um and he's not even there for most of the game so um, if this was to be in one place in the game, this might be our little area that we stay in. But I don't know. I don't know. Um, hopefully it is free roam. It would be very cool if it was, because obviously I could see these areas being areas where you have to hide or go through maze, where there might be animatronics coming after you. That'd be very cool. Um, if we keep going. Obviously, you know, this would also be a very, uh, open area for the mall. Where we might be having to uh, hide from people and stuff. But, um... I think I looked into it. This is vanity. And everyone's like, oh, it's this bunny that's taken over by Glitch Trap. And I don't know. I think that's fucking stupid. Honestly. It sounds it sounds mean, but like, I, just, I think it's stupid. Um... I did not like Finance of Freddy's 3. But at least I could look at it and be like, wow... Um, at least there's, like, an actual serial killer that's haunted, uh, haunting the suit and coming after you. Knowing that Afton was in that suit really kinda made it scary, but... Even so, there wasn't enough in that game, I would say, to make it scary. And knowing that there's just a bunch of phantoms, just, uh, to me, at least it got more annoying than scary. Um, that's why I love the original the probably the most. The original was fucking horrifying. I fucking love the original. Because it's, it felt grungy. You didn't understand them the most. You were getting little hints and details. Um, it, it was just fucking great. It was an amazing game. Um, it was simple. The monsters actually like felt real. And like a threat. And with this, like... I feel like they're gonna go back to the roots of it being real and shit. If not, then Fuck! Because I want to actually feel like I'm actually, you know, I know what's going on, not just, well, this actually means this, but this is just meta for this. So, like, fuck that. But, but, um, I do have a good feeling 
not about this fucking character vanity fuck vanity i do like how there's this like mistrust between the animatronics with gregory but i do like the moon dude in the fucking kitchen i get good fucking vibes about that man good fucking vibes this is what's horror this gives me bad vibes and i feel uneasy and fucking scared and i love it i fucking love it and then that you know i believe that's what horror should be so um hopefully this comes out soon I'm guessing it's going to come out around the same date that PS5 comes out, um, just because, I mean, if it's, like, with the PS5 trailer, like, if it's kind of, like, with it, it's probably going to come out the same around release date and probably be bundled, maybe, so I'm guessing that's what's going to be probably one of the biggest selling points to come to, uh, when it comes to this PlayStation console. Um, there's nothing wrong with that, but, um... That's what I'm guessing, and that also means that it's going to probably be coming out with the uh, PC edition. So I'm guessing that's going to be around November. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if it comes out in like maybe three months or two. Um, but with that aside, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys have any other ideas or questions about this, um, please let me know. Um, again, I'm not the biggest one when it comes to FNAF um, fandom, but I do love the games. I do have a very soft spot uh, when it comes to it in my heart. So um, you know, if you guys want to see more content about this. Um, I've never really done much, uh, really diving into FNAF, except for, like, maybe a few games. Um, my, my, my biggest fucking thing I did with FNAF was fucking a Ronald McDonald game. <laughs> it's literally fucking, I think it's like five nights at McDonald's. I don't know, it's, it, I think that's the most popular I've done. So, if you guys would like to see more, please let me know. Um, I definitely am going to be playing this game if it comes out. Because I, I know it's, it, I feel like it's going to be different. It's going to go back to its roots and it's going to feel good. If not, though, then you know what? Fuck it. I mean, shit, man. Um, you already know that fucking Markiplier is going to be playing and be like, ah, ah, I am man child. Ah! So like, I don't fucking know. But um, anyways, comment down what you guys think. If you haven't already, please sub. Um, and uh, I guess we'll try and uh, find out more about this when it comes out. Um, all I gotta say, guys, is smile. Keep your head up. And uh, let's fight for a future so bright. So much for eyes. I love you guys. My name is Blue Sunny out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Whoop!